Visible fiction is believed, much like theatre, when a learner is thrust into an unknown world, they are given the freedom to experiment and ultimately see the world through a different perspective. We get excited by experimenting with new ideas to form innovative, creative projects. We were inspired by Scotland's College's ambition to encourage debate and conversation around the field of dangerous approaches to education. The overall aims for our Dare Danger included lecturers given time and space to experience completely unique and innovative ways to engage learners, encourage team building, communication and problem solving skills, whilst prompting discussions about different learning styles. Demonstrate the potential of working within imagined situations. Encourage lecturers to explore new ways of tapping into their students' personal interest as a way of initial engagement. Exploring the importance of place when structuring work for learners, especially outdoors. Visible Fictions worked with two teams of lecturers from two of Scotland's colleges, James Watt and Cowinning, and also Kilmarnock. The teams embarked on a truly unique and innovative training event located in and around Glasgow City Centre. Over the course of the day, the teams were thrust into a fictional situation and given a series of creative tasks which helped them understand new approaches to learning. The fictional situation involved the Clyde was contaminated with a deadly toxin which threatened to kill every living organism in a two-mile radius. One woman held the solution in her rucksack. But was it the antidote or even a worse threat? Two teams had until 3pm to race against each other to find this mystery individual, understand her motives and prevent the disaster from spreading. Throughout the day, the teams worked in an unknown world, raced against time, travelled by speedboats, chased a missing person, worked with an underground scientist, engaged with the government's top speechwriter, made a viral video, tried to stop deadly toxins being released in the Clyde, and began to understand a new approach to learning. At the end of the day, the lecturers took part in an evaluation session, during which they offered feedback into the benefits of the day. These included... Give the students freedom to experience situations that have no right or wrong answers, but explore core skills in problem-solving situations. They liked the element of surprise, not sure what was coming next. It felt like there was a continuous flow of change that kept you on your toes. It kept you from going to your own comfort zone. And finally, we all had the same information, and it, was made, you, and it made you feel like what a student feels like, unsure, not enough info, scared of sounding stupid for talking. The project supported the lecturers' understanding of the aims of the Curriculum for Excellence. It demonstrated how you can nurture confident individuals by empowering people to develop and communicate their own beliefs and view of the world. The lecturers were effective con contributors, especially through communicating in different ways and in unknown settings. The project adopted a thematic approach which allowed depth and breadth to the learning. The creative task demonstrated how numeracy and literacy can be built into subjects without them feeling forced or tagged on. This could be seen in the political speech writing workshop, in which one of the groups were given 30 minutes to create a speech for the First Minister, who would then break the news of the outbreak to the country. Ultimately, by creating excitement and enthusiasm for learning, the project demonstrated how increased motivation can support independence and creativity. Visible Fictions has maintained the relationship with the college lecturers that attended the day and continues to explore new ideas with them. There are plans for both colleges to run their own day of danger with students as part of their induction. Some final quotes from the day included, The day gave me thinking time to reflect on actions of myself and effectiveness of team. I'll have several memorable experiences to share and reflect in. Everyone was in the same situation. No one really knew what was going on, so everyone was starting from the same point, learning as we went along. The movement stopped people becoming bored, kept the group motivated, enthusiastic and very imaginative. It kept everyone's interest. Think more about ways in which we could learn. Think more creatively about learning 
it's not all about classrooms and whiteboards. The story that had been creative, created involved lots of learning styles, but it didn't feel like it being taught. It was more self-discovered. We were forced into an unknown situation straight away and taken out of our comfort zone. Paul Gorman, Head of Education and Participation at Visible Fictions Theatre Company, discussing the Day of Danger in partnership with Scotland's colleges.